The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Okay, so when we've concluded our planting season and we're ready to put the planter away for storage, there's a few things we want to to do to, to check it out and make sure that you know everything's still in good shape for, for and cleaning it out. So to take the row unit off, unclasp at the back, pull it up, uh, pull off your airline, and then your row unit is free to come out, or your meter, sorry, is free to come out. We're gonna tip it up here on a table, undo our cover, three clasps, undo the cover, pull off our cover, pull off our seed disc, and then we pull off our agitator. So, now that we've done that, of course it's nice and easy now, I don't have any seed in it, but uh, once we've done that, we can start inspecting our items to make sure you know everything's still in good shape, clean it as needed, depending on you know what we want to do for our winter storage. So, let's start with the, you know, the last piece we pulled off, our, our agitator. We want to check it over, just make sure that uh, all the fingers are still in good shape. We're not seeing any fatigue cracking. If we start to see that you know these fingers are starting to crack or break off, it's a good time to look at uh, replacement of this part. Our seed discs, this particular one is a, is a corn, corn disc, and we want to uh, make sure that it's still in good shape, so we want to you know, clean it off, you know, brush, brush it off, make sure that uh, you know, inspect our wear lines on the disc here, and here, and here, and here, and here, are, are, we have six wear, wear marks on the disc, and what you want to do is just visually inspect, make sure you can see them uh, and feel them with your finger. If it's to the point where you, you, know, you run your fingernail over and you can't feel that groove anymore, it's time to replace the disc. Our cover has the same uh, or similar wear marks here on our, on our vacuum area. So these wear marks, again, are indications of, of where, where it's going to wear. And we want to you know, check to make sure that we can still feel them and see them. And if we can't, it's time to look at replacing the cover. Now, now that you've got this apart, before you go any further, if this is the first time you've disassembled your 1200 series planter, a really good idea at this point is to mark a number on our cover, you know, number this number one, mark our seed disc with a number one, our singulator, and our row unit all together with the same number. And when, you know, depending on how many number of row units we have, I mean, you know, one through 12 or 16, 32, whatever it may be. And the reason for that is that you know when they're brand new, these parts are interchangeable. However, after a season of use and we have you know individual wear patterns on all these parts, we want to make sure that they all go back together the same, uh, you know, like for like on the parts. Now that we have everything out of our out of our meter, you know, we want to have a look. You know, make sure that our, our center disc is still in good shape. You know, we've got a, a locking pin back here. Make sure it's still still in place. You know, our check our singulators. Make sure that you know the wheels are still free turning. You know, we're not to see, starting to see any fatigue cracking on the on the holders. You know, the plastic is still in good shape. Our 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 uh, screen here is still in, still in, in place and in, in good good condition. You know, we check our brushes to make sure that uh, you know all the brush material is still there. You know, our, our infeed brush here is still good. You know, a little trick with uh, with this unit here, you can pull it out. If you're starting to see wear on one side, you know where the seed starts to come in, you can unslide this, flip it around. You know, and then you have a, a new fresh surface to work with there, and then that can just. Uh, clip back in place. So with all that done you can uh, you can then start to oh, I don't think I got that in the right there we go okay so with all that done everything's clean you know you've removed all of your seed treatment residue everything is you know is cleaned out you're ready to put things away for the winter so you know good idea you know with your seed disc you want you know good idea is to store them separately somewhere flat dry clean place uh, you know numbered and marked ready for spring you know you can store your uh, your agitators your agitators are fine you know you can go ahead and put them back on you know, they only go on one way so it makes it nice and easy you can put your cover back on And you know, with that done, you're you're free to take your take your uh, row unit, your meter unit, I should say. Put it back on your row unit, and you're ready for winter storage.